broadcasting live from WorkbenchCon 2022 in Atlanta, it's time for Organization Conversation, brought to you by Wall Control Storage Systems. Wall Control gives you the storage and organization you crave. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Organization Conversation. I'm excited to be here with Annika here at WorkbenchCon. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Richard. Thank you for having me. No, thanks for coming on. It's an honor to have you. You, She's been an awesome partner uh, for a long time, maybe years now. I, I forget when the first project... I think at least 2017, 2018. Yeah, it's been a while yeah. for sure. So it does super creative stuff. Um, rather than me trying to explain the subject matter she knows best, uh, give our audience, our customer base, a little background on yourself and your channels. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm Annika, and I am the creator behind Annika's DIY Life, which is a set of well, websites, YouTube, uh, and social media channels. And they're all geared towards inspiring and empowering beginner DIYers and woodworkers. So I share lots of uh, beginner-friendly woodworking tips and tricks and tutorials and ideas and all my projects are very simple, That something that anyone with basic tools can approach it so Absolutely. they're not intimidated. And Yeah, but it's just to inspire more people to do it. And when I started out, um, I had never picked up a power drill up until about nine years ago. So um, and I have learned as I went Absolutely. on. Absolutely. That, I love that's That's what we want to tell is that story. Like. Yeah. yeah. So, so my whole thing is like, if I can do it, then you know, you can totally do it. Yeah, I love it. And you know, the whole the whole point of our podcast, um, the talking to you guys, our partners and friends, is you know, our customer base. They might be, you know, they might have a drill, but they're afraid to tackle that project. They might need that table, but they think they got to buy it. And you know, having those stories and and marrying those two groups and saying, look, you can do this. I did this. I was the same person. I had not picked up a drill and. Look at what I built. So yeah, um, we, we I'm uh, inspired and uh, thankful to be a part of you know your projects from an organizational standpoint, and uh, it's it's just cool to showcase you guys to our customers, and that's why we love WorkbenchCon too. It's a great place to like really get those stories out there. Absolutely, yeah, and I'm thankful to be able to partner with amazing brands like you. Who, awesome, thank you. you. Know, that means a lot. It really does. Understand so. and you know. In, yeah, we, part of our yeah, we want to bring life. the community to yeah. our customers, you know. So that's the Absolutely. that's the that's the the point there. Um, yeah. So uh, any any exciting projects you have upcoming, or you're working on, or any collaborations you've you know started to work on here at WorkbenchCon? So um, just before I uh, just before WorkbenchCon, I actually came over a couple of days early, mm-hmm. and I collaborated with my friend um, Sarah at Ugly Duckling yeah. House. Yeah, Sarah's and we, awesome. Yeah, yeah, and we built. Uh, window plant shelf and that's a collaboration that will be coming out on youtube very soon very cool and um apart from that right now i'm sort of giving my eight-year-old son oh wow son's room a little bit of a makeover because it's kind of become an explosion of legos yeah so that's my new thing that i'm trying to figure out how to organize all the legos and create like a lego table and things awesome are you teaching any diy skills to him along the way is he yeah. yeah, absolutely. He loves to be in the workshop. He awesome. loves to like. Um, so I let him use the miter box with uh-huh. the handsaw. So yeah. he loves doing that. Awesome. He every time he comes in, he has this idea. And he recently he designed a bed. So basically, just a sheet of plywood and four, you know, dowel pieces underneath. And I helped him screw them in. Yeah. So now he wants to sell beds when he grows up. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Build yeah. and sell beds when awesome. he grows up. So he's, he's always like, it's very interesting to see like every time he discovers that he can do something new, he decides that's what he wants to do when he grows up. Exactly. Well, that was like me. I wanted to be a dinosaur when I found out about dinosaurs. Then I wanted to be, you know, and then I wanted to be a roofer for a while because I thought that was awesome being up on roofs. But yeah, that's how you kind of start yeah. to feel. But he's, he's lucky to have a mom like you where he can, you know, learn these things and like mm-hmm. make with his hands and, and, and like grow up knowing like seeing something and saying I can make that myself absolutely you know? so. yeah and and the other important thing is so I'm I'm from India I mm-hmm. was born and I grew up in India I came here when I was 22 mm-hmm. for grad school yeah but I had I didn't know that bit of background actually okay. yeah so that's awesome yeah, so, I, that's what I love I mean you know we've known each other for a while but I love mm-hmm. sitting down and getting to do like one-on-one conversations because I learn a lot so yeah sure yeah so I mean and in India 
this is not a thing. Like yeah. DIY woodworking is not something people do. Gotcha. Right. We call someone to come and hang a picture for us yeah. on the wall. So, um, as you know, uh, it's, it's also about breaking cultural, yeah. uh, you know, that's and, even more uh, impressive that you yeah. were able to like see, see past culturally and like mm-hmm. jump into it, you know? Yeah. So it's like cultural gender stereotypes, you know, just Absolutely. breaking through those. And for my daughter to see that, yep. um, mom can do it, you know? So if there's something broken in the house, they called mom and not the dad. Exactly. <laughs> so. No, that's, a, that's inspiring. And like you said, a, an awesome example of, uh, where you know where things need to go and mm-hmm. where they're headed. So it's it's yeah. it's it's great to have folks like you in the community being and not just you know not just your kids but all these different people that you influence um, that see that too and like kids coming up and especially like you know with same cultural background you know like saying oh I look at look at her doing this I can do that too so yeah, yeah absolutely awesome. cool well I don't want to take your time up you're a you're a popular popular lady here oh, so yeah. uh, one last time how can our audience find you um, if they're looking to follow along or reach out so i am anika's diy life um everywhere my handle is anika's diy life on any social media channels my website is anika's diy life.com so if you googled for that yep. you'll find me she'll pop right up all right well thanks for coming on anika and have a great rest of what remains of workbench gone so. thank you so much thank you for having me no my pleasure thank you for joining us organization conversation is brought to you by wall control a family-owned and operated producer of best-in-class wall-mounted organizers for your home or business made right here in the USA. To learn more, go to wallcontrol.com.